teaching sufficient exemplars or examples if you want to be like totally normal. Anyway, so teaching sufficient examples is when, but in fact, you know what? That's just what we do here at Psychor. We aim to teach so many examples of the same most plain and boring and, I don't know, maybe there, is the word banal? But, but I don't know, I can't remember. I forget the bane topic? I don't know, whatever. My brain's getting all fuzzled. Anyway, so teaching sufficient, sufficient, sufficient examples um, just simply means we're going to teach an example and another example and another example and another example and another freaking example and more freaking examples. So many of them that you can't possibly miss the point. Uh, reinforcement is, you know, strengthening the behavior, increasing the probability of behavior. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, you give the definition. That's not an example. So let's give an example of reinforcement. Then let's give another example of reinforcement. Let's give it with a dog. Let's give it with a cat. Let's give it with a fish. Let's give it with a human. Let's give it with a nonverbal human. Let's give it with a, um, a male human. Let's give it with a female human. Let's give it with a transgendered human. Let's give it with a, not, not a cricket. Oh, and you know what's really cool? You can even give it to bumblebees. <laughs>